Happy Friday, print fam. It is currently 9.50. Bob's gonna come over. He's got some business cards he needs to do. I've got a set of business cards. Whew. I'm already tired. Got a set of business cards I need to do. And I have a lot of like just follow up to do. Make sure I've got all the projects in line, I'm not missing anything, and that things are not getting like, left behind. So I wanna go through all my emails and all my projects, kinda get everything figured out so that I can feel less stressed. I'm still looking for like a project management system. If you guys know one, use one, have one, then I'd love the suggestion. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to Cam the other day and he probably like myself, I keep seeing ads for monday.com and I guess the biggest issue with that is it's $100 a month and $100 a month, wow. Like it is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money. I just can't afford it right now. I can't spend another $100 a month on stuff because I've got so many expenses and I'm trying to save up enough money that I can afford to do this job full time. And part of the issue with that is getting expenses lowered. So I'm trying to reduce those so that I can afford to leave. So if you have any suggestions, something hopefully that's less money than anything. Um, I've tried Airtable and the problem is you just can't really do due dates and it's hard to manage and track and get reminders and that's really what I need. So um, if you have any suggestions, I'm still open to it, but I better get started with this then we'll check back in with you. Cam, are you as tired as I am? I slept from 7 p.m. last night to noon today, if that tells you anything. All right, print fam, Bob just left. So I'm gonna get these business cards printed. We ended up outsourcing the business cards for him because the customer wants glossy and I don't have a glossy paper and I don't wanna buy any yet because we're still having some issues, so. Let me flip the camera room. So you can see this like, whatever, striping, this coloration, that's happening. This is a glossy paper. We're also getting these lines. So they've ordered some new parts that are supposed to fix that. But they haven't come in yet. The part that they came to replace on Saturday last week was supposed to fix this, but then every time you go to print it, would jam the printer, so they took it out. So we will see what happens. They did give me an ounce that I could walk away from the printer. I'd end up buying a different printer if that happens, um, but I'd like to just get this one fixed and up and running. So let's get these business cards printed and then I'm probably gonna go to bed. It's 12.30. All right guys, I printed one page as a test just to make sure. So now the nice thing is, is now that I have it and it's done and it's working, I can click this fiery driven button and go to job list and I can go to printed and I can search down here. This is the job I just did. So I can click properties and sign in with my no password user. I can come here and on my keypad, push 23, and click print. And now I can come over here and it'll take, I'd say 30 seconds to a minute and all 23 pages will be popped out. So I pushed the button at 45 seconds on the timer and I'm about to hit a minute. So let's see how long it takes. So 
So about 15 seconds to start the print and about 40 seconds to print it. So now I'll throw them on the cutter and I'll see how long that takes. All right guys, they're all done and in the nice pretty box, it took just under eight minutes and 30 seconds to cut them all. But the nice thing is, is you don't have to do anything. Once you've loaded them in the printer or in the cutter, they'll just cut themselves until they're done. So in reality, it takes the time to set up the job, which is a couple of minutes, and then the time to transfer it from the printer to the cutter, and then the time to take it from the cutter and put it in the box. So five, 10 minutes worth of work, 500 business cards, happy customer, good profit margin. So I am gonna call it a night. Did I reach my goal? No, I did not. Better luck tomorrow. So I'm doing a bunch of vinyl tomorrow, heat transfer vinyl that is, and going to a soccer game for my daughter again, and we are running one errand in Salt Lake. So hopefully I can meet my, more goals. Frankly, I've met my goal of the equivalent of three days this month and we're halfway through the month. So not doing so hot this month. So hopefully I can get some more jobs in, get those finished, get paid. We do have a ton in receivables but that's not good enough. So thanks for watching, Print Fam. Thanks, Cam, for all you do. Really appreciate you. And no, I do not name things just so that you'll label them. It's just, it makes life more fun. Don't you agree? Don't, don't you think it's fun? That, like, I don't even remember where Bach came from. Quick story on Bach, because I do remember where Bach came from one time. He pointed and he said the Bach round instead of the background. So I put Bach right there uh, on the on the uh, embroidery machine, uh, and ever since then he just decided to call it Bach. So that's where Bach came from. Just in case you were wondering, that's Bach's origin story. Wasn't it you who named him Bach? I think it was you. You started the whole thing. This is the lights are freaking out. But paperweight came because. I was mad that Bob made me buy it because it was a paperweight for so long. But at least it has done one job and we should be starting these other jobs really quick. So anyway, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you as a subscriber so you can follow along. Any questions you have, leave them down in the comments. We are going to do a special Q&A video, so make sure um, you go watch yesterday's vlog, which goes over... Well, hopefully you guys will leave a bunch of questions. And have a good night, day, evening, whatever. Whenever it is that you watch us. See ya, print fam. Are you gone yet? Did you leave? The video is over already.